Hey, this is Sean from JFrog, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of JFrog's ML model management capabilities. Now, everyone's buzzing about ML, and for those building or experimenting with ML, unless you're building a model from scratch, chances are you're going to go to a model zoo like Hugging Face. Hugging Face is a community built around models, data sets, and applications of ML, just like many public registries were for open source packages. You can search by model type, license classification, and today we're going to focus on an example around uh, object detection. So let's take a look at some object detection models that we have. There's quite a few to choose from. And this one from Google looks pretty good. Google's pretty reputable. Now any um, model that's, that's good will have a nice robust model card. You can see the name, you can see the technology, the framework, the license, and thorough documentation about how to use it. Um, and all that looks pretty good. The other thing is you can see that uh, this model has about 400,000 downloads in the past month, so it's being used regularly, and you can see all the spaces that are actively using it. So all of this looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one to help out uh, with a problem I'm having. Um, let's see if it can help me do some identification here. So like many folks working with ML, we're going to use uh, a Jupyter Notebook as our IDE to solve a problem around identifying frogs in a picture. Jupyter Notebook is super common uh, amongst data scientists because it allows for both visualization and the code side by side. So today we're just going to write some you know, basic Python to identify frogs in a picture because I have a feeling that there is an imposter in one of these photos that I recently took. So you can see it's just regular Python codes and it's starting to import the required packages. And then we import the model itself. We're using the pipeline command, which is a regular Hugging Face SDK command straight off of the Hugging Face examples. And you can see the model name that we have. Um, now we'll load the image and show it to you so you can, uh, before going into AI, to identify the frogs in the image. So let's see it. So here's our image, and I just can't tell, is there five frogs, maybe four? I, I'm not exactly sure. So let's use ML to help me out. We direct the model to identify the frogs and the cats in the picture. We define the inputs and the draw mechanism. And basically, you know, these four lines of code are pretty much all we're using to touch the, the ML model. Most of the code you see is around drawing the boxes uh, around the objects we are identifying in the picture. So let's put it into action. And thankfully, the ML is pretty clear. It's telling me, OK, we have an imposter here. That is indeed a cat with cat paws. So you might be asking yourself, OK, this is all cool, but what does this have to do with JFrog? Well, all the aspects of the code and packages we used in this example were managed by JFrog. So let's take a look at how this uh, goes in action. So you can see we've got a repository for our Hugging Face, and we've got remote repositories for both Hugging Face and Python. We're pretty familiar with Python repositories. So let's just go ahead and look at our remote Hugging Face repo. So when you click in, you can see everything that you're pretty much used to seeing already, a repository key, a URL, um, and even x-ray support. So let's take a look at a watch and policy that we've set up relating to Hugging Face. So here you can see we've disallowed unknown licenses. This is pretty common practice as well with your open source packages. You don't want to let things without an appropriate license into your system. And the other thing is that setting up your Hugging Face repos um, and your ML projects to work with Artifactory and X-Ray and the whole JFrog platform is actually really easy. Um, all it takes is a couple of lines of code, which you can see here. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy what I need for this example. I'm gonna go back into my Jupyter Notebook and scroll up to the top. And you can see here um, that all we need is the two lines of code. We need the key and the path to connect our Jupyter Notebook to Artifactory. So now we're all connected. And we're going to go ahead and install 
um, the Python packages from Artifactory as well. So we'll go ahead and run that. And you can see it's installing pretty quickly because we pre-cached it for the sake of this demo. So now we're going to try to run some sentiment analysis using a model that doesn't have an appropriate license. And you can see it's just a snapshot download, which is just an initialization stage action to try and download the model. And let's see what happens when we go ahead and do that. And you can see it was blocked by X-Ray just as our policy was set up. It has an unknown license, so it's blocked. So thanks for watching this quick demo. To learn more, visit us at jfrog.com or request a demo. Thanks.